Hey guys, so I want to show you my super awesome outfit for this Friday night that is upon us. Super stylish, huh? So I have on this big green sweatshirt and yoga pants. Sweatshirt covers my butt, so it's okay. I'm actually going to go get something to eat right now. And it's already kind of light, so... Although I do have on false eyelashes, which I'll tell you the story um, just real quick. I, you know, don't have a lot of, like, attention-grabbing things because um, it's it's late at night, and I'm a girl, and we don't want any unwanted attention. So that's why we're not wearing super tight clothing or even more lip color than I am. But, uh, real quick, so the whole false lashes thing is, um, so during the summer, my lashes were doing awesome, my regular lashes. And I was wearing mascara all the time, and they were staying curled, and it was it was just a good time. And then my eyelash curler, you know, after using the eyelash curler, how the rubber starts to get worn down and starts cutting into it, I decided to go get a new one. And I bought several of the e.l.f. dollar eyelash curlers, like several, like at least like five or something like that. I bought a new one, and then after I used it, like I noticed my eyelashes were like different. Then I look closer. This area right here it had cut them in half and then over here in the inner part it had cut those down and I'm looking like what the heck is like it's okay it'll grow back it'll all just take time weeks passed months passed and they still have not grown back and then I finally decided to look at the eyelash curler because I thought maybe I just used it like wrong that day or accidentally had pulled on it a little bit um this one is just it's kind of designed kind of funky, so I don't know if you guys can see right here in this area where the metal is really close to each other compared to the rest of it. So just the metal was rubbing against each other and it cut them. And I continue to use it like some person and my lashes look really, really crappy if I just wear mascara right now. So I have just kind of like one here and then a few here and then just on this part. So I bought more of these eyelashes right here, which are the D Wispies from Nigel's, and I made a trip specifically yesterday just to go to Hollywood for these eyelashes because these ones I've worn like 20 times or something like that. But um, that's what happened. So now we're going to go get something to eat because I'm starving. And I haven't had time to go, like, full-on grocery shopping. I just bought stuff to get make, like, sandwiches and a few snacks, but I don't actually have any, like, food food. So, yeah, you guys are going to come with me. So, real quick before I leave, I don't know if you guys remember the living room in my last apartment, but this is the humongous one that is for eight people. And apparently someone is spending the night and by the flip-flops that are on the floor. I'm guessing it's you guys, so I was pretty much set on going to uh, Wendy's, and then I realized that I really wanted to go to El Pollo Loco, even though I go there all the time, but I thought they might be closed, but we're going to go anyways, because we're going to see, and you guys are going to find out with me, and if not, then you can all laugh, because they have to go the other direction. Oh, they're closed! <laughs> they're like cleaning up inside, that's not good. Okay, now I have to go completely the other way to go to Wendy's. Alright, so now I am back. I was putting away some of my dishes, but I want to show you guys. I get this set of silverware from Ikea. And so it had, um, forks and knives in it. Like, these are the knives, or whatever. This is a fork. So it only has three tongs, as opposed to, like, the normal ones over here with four. And then... I have these spoons, which are like huge ones, like tablespoons, and then a baby, no baby spoons, <laughs> like what the heck, but I put some nice like, kitchen stuff away, and then also up here, those are my pretty new dishes, and I need to go get more food. Alright guys, so I am back. Um, I filmed a little bit of stuff when I was actually waiting in Wendy's at the drive-thru, but I accidentally deleted it so you guys don't get to see it. Uh, my eyebrows are all like getting all messed up right now. But I am super stoked because, you know, Peterlude is finally back. Um, that's Josh, if you guys don't know him. This is his screen name, Petra Lude. But he makes 
really awesome videos and for a while he kind of stopped making them because people were just kind of bugging him almost like oh why don't you, why don't you make new videos you know you need to put out more he doesn't care about us anymore and just all this stuff and I saw him post a lot of things just kind of on uh, Facebook and also Twitter that he's like you know what I'm just not gonna do it anymore <laughs> or first he slowed down actually and I'm like choking. At uh, first he slowed down where he said like, you know, I'm only going to put out content that I think is quality. I think it's better to have, you know, quality content out there than just to put out a video just because. And I, you know, definitely agree with him. I think that's true. And I guess, you know, lots of other people are just saying all this stuff to him. So he thought it wasn't fun anymore. And, you know, it was just more of a job. And he just didn't feel like doing it. So he took a break. But he's, you know, kind of that chunk of YouTubers, like that I really got into makeup and definitely got into YouTube just through um, him and X Barkage and Kalina Blendy and all these people that did, you know, really just kind of like artsy, colorful looks and why they may have not been like, you know, wearable necessarily, they were dramatic, but yeah, they were kind of just like very artful and inspiring and that really kind of led me to getting more into makeup. So I'm just super happy that He's back, and he's been posting a lot more often, so if you guys don't follow him already, you definitely should. One thing that was kind of funny was uh, when he was, you know, considering coming back, he actually, why is my light, like, being red? He posted this video about that he would be coming back to YouTube, and I guess, like, since he stopped really making videos, he also kind of stopped watching them. And one thing that he mentioned, he's like, why the heck is so much stuff on here, like, scripted now? And, I mean, I never really thought about it that much but now I think about it, there are so many people on YouTube now especially like beauty ones and it's almost like they're just doing like a commercial or something and that's another reason why I really liked you know him and Leisha and Queen of Blendy was they would talk to you as they were doing the tutorials like before none of them really used to do like voiceovers it was just them and now I'm gonna use this and that was one thing that I really loved about it and now you know people are all into editing and doing the voiceovers and trying to make them seem super professional and sometimes why that does make a video you know kind of cool to watch like you just don't get that like that personable touch so it was just kind of funny that he mentioned it, it was like hmm, I guess that's true uh, yeah so he just posted a video though it's like 24 minutes long and I'm like 15 minutes in, but my internet's being super weird and not loading. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for right now. I'm going to try to film like a tag or something like that. Try to get something else up here. And I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you guys later.